Today we're going to go over the bones and other structures on the lateral side of the skull. So first let's identify some bones. Here we see the parietal bone. Now we have the frontal bone. The mandible. The sphenoid bone. The temporal bone. The zygomatic bone. The occipital bone. The nasal bone. And the maxilla. Now for some sutures or joints. This is the squamous suture located between the parietal and the temporal bones. Next is the coronal suture between the frontal and parietal bones. The lamboidal suture between the occipital and parietal bones. The structure is the lambda. It's the junction of the parietal and occipital bones where the coronal and lamboidal sutures meet. This is the bregma, the junction of the frontal and parietal bones where the coronal and sagittal sutures meet. The asterion, parietal and temporal and occipital bones meet there. The glabella, between the superior ciliary arches, it's a rounded median elevation of bone. The nason, in the mid sagittal plane where the frontal and nasal bones meet. The terion, which is the junction of the sphenoid, the frontal and parietal bones. The anon, the center of the occipital protuberance. Next is the uh, external auditory meatus it's for the ear, the squamous part or flat part of the temporal bone, the mastoid process of the temporal bone, the alveolar process of the mandible, the zygomatic arch formed by the zygomatic and temporal bones, the mental foramen, the angle of the mandible, the ramus of the mandible, and the body of the mandible. And those are just a few structures that can be found on the lateral aspect of the skull. Please rate, subscribe to be notified of new uploaded videos, and I'll try and get another skull video up this week.